Pakistan in the 60s was one of the fastest growing economies in Asia. In fact, Pakistan was, uh, was shown as a, a role model for development. South Korea came to Pakistan to take our model. Malaysia learned from Pakistan. And these countries moved ahead of uh, us. Uh, Pakistan went wrong in the 70s. It went wrong because um, we had a socialist mindset. And that socialist mindset actually became a deterrent to wealth creation. So making profits was considered a sin. And uh, that mindset then uh, set us back. Nationalization took place. Uh, some of our big uh, industrialists, uh, businessmen, were hounded out of the country. And so we went backwards. And even though that socialist mindset went in the 80s and 90s, but unfortunately, uh, socialism went. We, we, country, governments changed. But amongst the bureaucracy and some of the politicians, that mindset remained. So when people started making wealth, they were somehow discriminated or there was envy against them. So how are we different? Our government is uh, a government that now has, as a policy, we feel that uh, wealth creation is, uh, is what's going to take Pakistan out of our economic crisis. We feel that wealth creation is how we will be able to pay our debts. We feel that wealth creation is what is going to raise people out of poverty in Pakistan. Uh, and, and the model of China is in front of us. China is uh, a, a country which has done something which no nation in the history of mankind has ever done, that they have taken 700 million people out of poverty in 30 years. No one has ever done that. And one of the ways was that they allowed wealth creation, and then they had specific programs to lift the bottom uh, tier of, uh, of the people out of uh, poverty. So we, as a government, our main concern is to take people out of poverty. To take people out of poverty, we have to allow people to make money. The more money is made, the more wealth is created, the more we have ability to raise taxes, and through them, we can then use that money on the bottom tier of our society. Uh, so we, we as a government are now making every effort to remove impediments in the way of investors and businesses. We have uh, an office set up in the Prime Minister's Secretariat, uh, and the, the, the job of that office a board of investment is to make it easy for people to invest. And so this process has started. Uh, we are the um, only thing which we want uh, to impose or eradicate in our society is corruption. Because corruption, unfortunately, is, makes it difficult for especially the small and medium industry to flourish but also for investors, genuine entrepreneurs to prosper in a society. Corruption becomes um, the reason why countries also uh, do, not, uh, do not achieve their potential. So I, I can assure you <clears throat> that uh, your concerns, we look forward to uh, the, the, the paper which you're going to give us, that where are the problems uh, happening. Some of us we already know because we have discussed the various issues Turkish investors faced in Pakistan, we have already discussed this. Um, and we already, uh, uh, reason is uh, erratic policy making, unpredictable uh, uh, policies, decisions changed midway through, and so uh, no investor uh, likes this unpredictability. And then you uh, set out to invest something given a certain set of policies, and then midway through the policies are changed. We realize that that's what's been happening. But we want to assure you that we will be now, you will be finding a completely different government, a government that is going to promote um, investment, 
And the best thing, of course, when you talk about uh, investing in Pakistan to use and then exporting out of Pakistan, that's really what we re need right now because our exports have suffered because of flawed po policy making. Uh, our, we have uh, stagnant exports. So we are going to actively promote exports most of all, protect our investors. We want to give empl employment to our, our young population. So therefore, our priority will be um, wealth creation. So therefore, we look forward to your input, and I assure you that we will be, uh, we will be working with you to make it easier for you to invest.